Hello, and welcome to the C2000 Launchpad, Project 1 video. I'm Trey German, C2000 Applications Engineer, and Project 1 will show you everything you need to get started with the LED Booster Pack. Project 1 is going to walk you through the steps that you will need to get your LED Booster Pack up and running with the C2000 Launchpad. By the way, this video assumes that you've actually already watched the C2000 Launchpad Project Zero video, so if you haven't, please go back and watch it. In this video, I'll cover how to set up the LED booster pack and launchpad hardware for demo purposes. Next, we'll go over how to load the example applications, and then we'll run the PC-controlled LED lighting demo. Finally, we'll kick it up a notch, and we'll control the LED booster pack using the capacitive touch booster pack from MSP430. The first thing we need to do is set up the hardware on the C2000 launchpad and LED booster pack. To do that, we'll get started by setting up the uh, power domains and the switches on each board. On the C2000 launch pad, remove JP1, 2, and 3. Uh, this will allow the board to be powered externally and will enable JTAG isolation. Next, make sure that both S1 and S4 are in the up position. Uh, on the LED booster pack, ensure that jumpers are placed on J2 and J8. So there they are right up there, J2 and J8. This will enable the LED booster pack uh, to power the Piccolo device on the launch pad. Finally, ensure that S1 on the LED booster pack is in the down position. Uh, this will ensure that there's no contention on the serial lines between the Piccolo on the launch pad and the MSP430 on the booster pack and the UART on the debugger. Finally, mate your C2000 launch pad to the LED booster pack and then plug in the supplied uh, USB cable and power supply. Next, we'll need to fire up Code Composer Studio and load the PC controlled LED lighting demo application onto the board. Uh, so to, to do so, go ahead and go to Start Programs, Texas Instruments, and then Code Composer Studio version 5. And you can go ahead and run Code Composer Studio version 5. Uh, when it starts up, it's going to ask you uh, to select a location for your workspace. And what the workspace is, is that's really just where it's going to store uh, all project-related settings. Uh, so for the fun of it, I'm just going to call it uh, workspace uh, underscore version 5. And so CCS will go ahead and start up. And when CCS finishes starting up, uh, you'll be presented with uh, Resource Explorer, which is uh, your portal to drivers, examples, documentation, uh, and it makes it very easy to get started running your first application on a board. So now that CCS has uh, finished starting up, uh, you see Resource Explorer. So this is uh, how Resource Explorer starts up. And you can just select Control Suite from this drop-down list. And this will show you uh, everything within Control Suite. So what we want to do is expand the Development Tools section and then look for the C2000 Launchpad entry and then we want to expand the Boost XL C2K LED entry and then the PC GUI demo entry. And so to start out what we're going to do is we are going to import, build, and debug this project on our C2000 launchpad. So click on the CCS project entry here and then click import example project into CCS. And this is going to uh, open a little project explorer and automatically import this project. Uh, then you're going to click the build imported project button. And you can see down here uh, the compiler is compiling this program right now. Uh, and it will be generating a .out file. Okay, so that's finished. See? Uh, now we want to set up the debugger, so click uh, debugger configuration. And remember the debugger present on the C2000 is the Texas Instruments XDS100 version 2 USB emulator. So go ahead and select that and then click OK. 
and then click Debug Imported Project. And so this will actually open the target configuration uh, and load the code onto the Piccolo device on the C2000 launchpad. And if you do get a message like this, remember uh, that uh, third switch in S1 can prevent you from being able to connect uh, to the target. And so if I look over at my launch pad right now, I can see that the third switch in S1 uh, is in the down position. So uh, if you get this error, just remember to switch that third switch up, and then you can go ahead and click retry, and it should connect. And then it should continue with uh, erasing the flash and programming that out file that we just compiled uh, onto that target device. Okay, so we can see now that it's actually loaded the program. Um, you can see it's uh, in the file LED boost PC main dot C, uh, and we can also see that down here. Um, the execution is paused at main. So what we want to do now is go ahead and just let this run in the background. Um, and then we're going to go back over here to Resource Explorer and click on our PC GUI application and we're going to launch that. Okay, so uh, the PC GUI, app GUI application should be able to automatically detect the COM port um, that your uh, launch pad is connected to. Um, so you can just click connect. If though it did not work, what you could do is click the setup connection button and select the correct COM port from here uh, and then click OK. So I'll just go ahead and reconnect and then to turn on the LEDs what you can do is uh, there's some preset colors up here. So by clicking these buttons up here um, it will automatically uh, change the sliders to the appropriate settings for those colors. You can also uh, change the sliders manually here uh, if you, you so choose. And that is how you run the PC GUI demo application. Now, we're going to step up our lighting application by adding capacitive touch control. To do so, we need to slightly reconfigure the hardware so that the MSP430 on the LED booster pack can communicate with the Piccolo device on the C2000 launch pad. Stop your debug session by pressing the red square near the top of the CCS window. After the debug session ends, unplug the USB cable and power supply from the launch pad and booster pack and separate the two boards. Switch S4 on the launch pad so that it's in the down position. Uh, this disconnects the Piccolo device's serial peripheral from the debugger's USB port. Then, on the LED booster pack, switch S1 so that it's in the up position. This allows the MSP430 to talk to the Piccolo device uh, with its serial peripheral. Go ahead and reassemble the boards and plug in the MSP430 capacitive touch booster pack into J6 and J7 on the LED booster pack. Plug in the USB cable as well as the power cable. The MSP430 on the LED booster pack is pre-programmed uh, with the capacitive touch booster pack firmware. And the MSP430 should begin running the original capacitive touch uh, user experience demo uh, shipped with the booster pack when power is applied to the LED booster pack. Alright, now you can go back to your PC and if CCS isn't still uh, open, go ahead and reopen CCS. Um, and what we want to do is load the capacitive touch booster pack firmware onto the C2000 launch pad. So to do that we want to uh, navigate through Resource Explorer to the C2000 launch pad, uh, to the LED booster pack uh, folder, and then to the capacitive touch demo firmware. And what we're going to do is we're just going to follow those same steps, um, those four steps to get the project imported, built, uh, and then loaded onto the target device. 
Um, and if you'd like some more space so you can really see what's going on, uh, what you can do is switch from the CCS debug perspective uh, back over to the CCS edit perspective. So uh, we're going to go ahead and import the project and it'll automatically show up over here in the uh, project navigator. Uh, then we want to build the importer project and once it completes down here, uh, we'll configure the debugger. So once again, this is an XDS100 version 2 USB emulator. Uh, and then we can click uh, Debug Imported Project. Then CCS will erase the flash. It will load our executable onto the target device and it will uh, run that application to the start of main. Now, we can simply run this application. Once you have the Capacitive Touch uh, demo firmware loaded on the Piccolo device, you're ready to run the example. So, with the, the firmware running on the device, to turn on the lights, you can do so by touching the center button on the touchpad twice. And the LEDs will turn on. Now, to change the color of the LEDs, you can rotate your finger around the mouse wheel and uh, you'll see the LEDs change color. Finally, to turn the LEDs back off, press the center button once. And then if you want to turn them on again, you can of course press the center button again. Well, that about wraps it up for Project 1. The boards we today we used in this project were the C2000 Launchpad, part number Launch XL-F28027, the LED Booster Pack, whose part number is Boost XL-C2KLED, and the MSP430 Capacitive Touch Booster Pack, whose part number is 430 Boost Sense 1. Remember that your centralized resource for finding the latest information on the C2000 Launchpad is ti.com slash C2000 Launchpad. You can also find the latest TI and third-party booster packs at www.ti.com slash booster packs. Thanks for watching. Until next time.